Hey everyone, this is David from Toledo Antique, and welcome to part four of our Pickers Paradise Estate Sale series. You're not going to believe what we got behind this door. Come on, let's go check it out. All right, so in this bedroom, as you can see, we have a very colorful collection of Beanie Babies that are still in the box. So these are very well taken care of and uh, we have quite a variety of Beanie Babies to look through and that's practically a science in and of itself. Um, I really like the M&M Bear. That's a cool one. There's a Panda. But I am looking for the Billionaire Bear, I'll tell you. I'm keeping an eye out for that Billionaire Bear because I know that that one's collectible, very collectible. But you can see we've got quite a variety of different Beanie Babies and animals. Um, if anyone's interested in any Beanie Baby in particular, we've got some piggy banks over here. There's a Dalmatian print over there. Here we have a limited edition collectible uh, M&B bears, it says. And then we got more Beanie Babies. I really like the bears. Got a dad and mom Beanie Baby. Got the bald eagle. So quite a few, quite a variety. And you never know what you're gonna find. There's a, an Easter bunny. You even got a little skunk there. And so all these beanies are looking for a new home. But let's see, we see we got a variety over here. These are not in the cases, but quite a few. So that's gonna be super fun to sell. Um, and then we've got this dresser with more Beanie Babies on top. Beanie Babies you've never seen before. <laughs> and then uh, got stuffed animals. You even have a hostess stand here. So this is like a hostess display. That's really cool. Um, and then over here, we've got like a little porcelain ceramic cat. Some more bears. Got a little Tasmanian devil thing. I think I remember those when I was a kid at the fair. I could get those if I won a game or something like that. And there's also this beautiful quilt. Looks like an embroidered floral quilt. So that is a nice one. Wow. So we're in the laundry room here and you can see that cute print there. But uh, they have these ceramic collectible water shakers, which um, essentially are for when you're ironing to um, kind of wet the clothes a little bit so you could see these water shakers here or a laundry sprinkler maybe you would call that um, there's a nice one with the elephant and then we got the washers and dryers to sell obviously um, but here's some more of the water sprinklers for when you're ironing so kind of cool and collectible and then you have like a, um, a metal water, plant waterer, a couple of those, and then a little shovel. It says Big Boss on there. And then up here, got a little sun to hang on the wall and an owl clock. So, you know, some cool stuff even in the laundry room. So that's really nice. Okay, so we found some more stuff here on the wall. Uh, looks like uh, Song of the South, Disney Song of the South. Now, this one's a very interesting one. It says it's signed by the voice of Brew Bear. And then um, over here, we got more Disney uh, prints. So collectible vintage Disney prints. Um, so those are pretty cool. And then over here, you can see uh, more from Song of the South. <laughs> So I didn't actually watch that cartoon much when I was younger. I think it might have been before my time. Um, kind of an older cartoon. But definitely got um, a variety of these prints. 
um, and you can see like they're numbered. So 56 out of 77. So I've got to do a little bit of research about these um, because I've never seen these before either. And there's like a whole collection of them. Well, let's check out what's in this closet. So in here, we got some Christmas decorations, a couple vacuums, um, just some stuff that's in bags. Looks like uh, might be some life jackets up there. But uh, then you got this nice old wood cabinet that has those little pheasants and baby pheasants in there. So that's really cool. So definitely some interesting, interesting stuff. Really cool Santa Claus down there. All right, let's go check out and see what's in this room. So this is kind of like a dog print. It says the dog artist collection. Um, some more prints over here. Oh, I thought these were really cool. Garfield bookends. So that's really nice. Got a Care Bear down there. Uh, some more stuffed animals. So can't have enough stuffed animals, okay? And then we got um, a thread rack. So that's cool. We got these uh, drawers full of stuff. Probably like a little sewing cabinet there. Looks like these are buttons. Collection of buttons. Um, you never know what you're going to find. Even some buttons can be valuable. Um, oh, oh, yes. We have to look at this. Walt Disney World pin trading. So you can see here, there's a lot of Walt Disney pins, a whole collection of these. So let me just see. I think I just have to be careful when I'm opening these. So this one I heard is going to be collectible because I did hear something about uh, Dumbo in the recent news. So I think the Dumbo things are gonna be very collectible. This one's limited edition Pinocchio. So as you can see, there's a variety of pins here. I think this whole book is full of Disney pins. So if you have a favorite Disney character, let me know and I will keep an eye out for those pins. Um, leave some comments down below, comment on what your favorite Disney character is because we might have a pin from that Disney character. Then over here, this looks like uh, kind of where some sewing was going on. So we got some thread, thread racks, a lot of really cool stuff. Um, and then I think this is like a lot of like uh, yarn. You can see there's, if you're into yarn, um, we're gonna have quite a bit of yarn to sell, I believe. I think we got several cases of yarn here. Um, so this is going to be a good opportunity to get some yarn. Um, but we get some coasters. Looks like this is Holland America line. So that's like a boat. Uh, and then we have this. Um, this is like a doll uh, scaled the height to Fort Mackinac. So... I think that's on Mackinac Island. And then we got another limited edition serigraph. I don't know, is this from Fievel Goes West? It might be. I'm not sure which Disney show this is from, but um, it's from the Disney store. And this is, oh, it says lithograph. So commemorative lithograph right there. So we got some cool Disney stuff. Uh, this is like a quilt rack. And then a special type of quilt. I think this was called stained glass style of quilting. So that's really cool. And um, then, you know, there's there's boxes over here. I think a lot of this goes with the figurines. And then you have a dream catcher. So just so you can catch your dreams. And maybe we have the collectibles of your dreams here. Um, let's keep looking around. So we're here in another uh, bedroom and we want to show you some of the really cool stuff that we found in here. Um, over here, you can see we got um, like crates and crates of what looks like Vera Bradley to me. So um, that's pretty collectible stuff. Uh, nice purses, nice wallets. So that's really exciting. We got a nice panda bear here. 
pretty much a box of really nice bears and stuffed animals. So that's the Christmas panda. And then over here, we got more stuffed bears. Ooh, that's a cute one with a little bell. Hmm, can't find out how to ring that bell. And then up here, you could see, uh, looks like some handkerchiefs for a man. And um, these, this is like a belt buckle with a nice stone in the middle. Uh, don't think it's sterling silver, but I'll take a closer look at it. And then uh, we do have a nice glass duck. And this is like a shoehorn, but um, over across the room in the corner, you can see there's a really nice jewelry box. Um, it's empty, but it's a very nice jewelry box. I mean, check this out. It's got a little mirror up here and nice drawers. So a lot of spaces for rings and jewelry and stuff. Um, so let's take a look. Uh, we got some nice perfume collection here. Uh, looks like this is Versace. It says bright crystal. Hmm. Smells pretty good. I mean, uh, looks like a little owl. I think this is like a plastic, but a little owl. And uh, then we'll check, take a look in this closet here. So now this is a closet of ladies clothing. So pretty nice. Um, what kind of caught my eye, we got some cowboy boots over here. And then you can see we have a box of uh, brand new Tommy Hilfiger shoes, new in the box. So those are really good, but I think that's kind of what we're finding around here is stuff that's like almost new uh, or taken very good care of. You can see the shoes were stored in these plastic containers. Um, so really nice condition on the clothing and stuff like that. So that's definitely what you want to see. There's an empty safe down there in the corner. So, um, you know, a lot of people need safes like at their house, you know, so that should sell pretty quickly. And then over here we have men's items like belts and, um, some luggage, nice leather jackets. You can see here. This one would be very warm in the winter. And then this one, nice jacket. And uh, down here we have some cowboy boots. And then we have cowboy hats over there in the corner. And then uh, hanging on the wall over here, we got a wall hanging that it, uh, looks pretty nice. It's got like duck heads. And oh, I guess you could hang probably ties on this. I think that's a tie rack. So uh, pretty nice stuff we're finding around here. All right, so we found some really cool stuff in the drawer. Uh, we have this beautiful dachshund pin. So I gotta tell Allie not to hoard dachshund stuff. And then um, we have some nice Bakelite bangles and bracelets. These are vintage. I really like that red one there. And then this one with the swirl is pretty cool too. So um, we got some nice Bakelite bangles and some more bracelets. And then over here, we uh, have a pearl necklace. So if you want a pearl necklace, this is the place to get it. So this is the end of part four from our Pickers Paradise estate sale. So stay tuned, keep watching. We're gonna show you more stuff from the house and tune into our live sales because that's where we're gonna be selling a lot of this stuff.